Say that does not threaten Florida or the no. U.S.? Good. Okay. No, no, no. It's actually not even expected to survive the weekend. And when it comes to hurricane season, well, things are very interesting there because we do expect El Nino to develop. And usually in an El Nino year, that suppresses hurricane activity because there's a lot of wind shear that tears developing storms apart. But the problem is we don't have a very robust El Nino right now to suppress these storms. And we have warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic and in the Gulf of Mexico. So so it's really a battle here. So right now, again, expecting a near average season. But of course, remember, it only takes one for it to be a devastating season. Like Hurricane Ian last year, there were two that hit the U.S., both in Florida, but Ian was by far the worst. Here's a look at Tropical Depression 2, where winds are sustained at 35 miles per hour. And as you saw, it is diving south at about 5 miles per hour. This is not a direction we typically see. But as you can see, it'll head towards the western tip of Cuba and essentially fizzle out. So here's a look closer to home at what's going on here. Hey, we have our own issues. Look up in Litchfield County where we do have some pretty heavy downpours that are bubbling up. I'm not seeing any lightning strikes so far, but there are some storms up in the Berkshires that are seeing thunder and lightning. And I do even wonder if some are already starting to see some small hail. But you can see from Goshen down through Litchfield, closer to Morris, we are seeing some of those downpours. So if you live out there, oh yeah, I'm sure you're going to take notice. I'm sure there's a dark cloud where you can actually see that rain shaft. It is 88 degrees right now in Windsor Locks, 84 in Waterbury, 82 in Chester, but right at the immediate shoreline, temperatures are in the 70s because of those winds coming on shore. So if you're in any of our beaches, it probably feels nice and refreshing, especially those water temperatures that are still only in the mid 60s. So let's take a look at what's going on. Here's our hour by hour forecast, which will show you more showers and thunderstorms developing through this afternoon. And there is the possibility that a few isolated storms may be strong, producing not only downpours, there's the potential for some strong wind gusts and yes, maybe even some small hail. I was wondering if we were starting to see a little bit of hail develop in the Berkshires. So this will be the case as we continue through this afternoon, watching these widely scattered showers and storms. Even as we go through the overnight hours, the clouds will stick around. We'll still have some spots showers right through Saturday morning. But the good news is I do think the wet weather threat will kind of diminish as we head through the day Saturday. The only problem is the clouds are going to kind of drag their heels. We're going to be dealing with a northerly breeze and thus temperatures are going to be much cooler than average. We'll only top out in the low to mid 60s tomorrow. So that's about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than what we expect this afternoon with highs ranging from the low 80s to low 90s. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where it will be much cooler tomorrow, but at least drying out. Sunday and Monday, those days have gone back and forth. Right now, I think both of those days are trending drier and maybe even a little bit brighter, which is great news. But heading into next week, our pattern is very unsettled, all thanks to this area of low pressure that will be spinning close by. So it does look to bring us clouds with intermittent showers all three days and keep temperatures well below average.